If you are a new solopreneur, you're probably making these two big mistakes that's costing you money big time, okay? So listen to this whole video and let's dive in. The first mistake that most solopreneurs make is waiting to finish a product before they sell it, before they market it. That is the biggest mistake you can make because a, you do not know if the, if your market wants this particular product. You're better off marketing the product first uh, or the service, whatever you're offering, and then seeing if there's enough interest before you finish the product. And secondly, when you do it that way, say you are marketing a particular service and there are people interested and you sell it, then you can use them to get particular information about what is it that they are needing, seeking, and then you can create your product based on that need. Therefore, you're hitting things bullseye. You're hitting them exactly, giving them exactly what they need and therefore you're meeting all their requirements and their needs and therefore you're much more likely to sell this product again. So instead of creating the product, making it pretty, buying all the things that you need to do to host the service and the product and whatever it is, sell the product first, sell the service first, start to market it first. Say, use simple things like, hey, this is, this is what I'm offering. Is there a need for this? This is what this product or service is for. This is the problem it's solving. This is what I can offer. Does anyone have any interest in this? And then collect data points and then decide if after that, and then if there's need and you, you're already selling it, pre-sell your product. When you sell your product first, then create the whole thing after that and see the results for yourself. This is how I made multi, multi five figures on one particular product with just this this mechanism. Okay, when you do it this way, you're much more likely, not only now you have revenue coming in, now you have incentive to finish it in, in the best way possible. And then the third one, it is also going to meet the specific requirements of your target market. It is bullseye, straight on, and you will get so much more results from this. So please do it this way and don't wait to finish the product because that brings me to the second mistake that most solopreneurs make when they're starting off on this business journey. This is vital. Pay attention to this. Time equals money. Time spent equals money. Okay, so if you are spending time creating something that there is no need for in the marketplace, look at all the money you it has costed you. Now, the second mistake that most solopreneurs make when they're starting off is doing everything on their own and therefore burning themselves out. You're doing everything from $10 minimum wage job to everything that only you can do. And that is one of the biggest mistakes you can make right off the bat. Hire help, hire uh, VAs, hire, hire um, editors, hire things, hire people who can help you with running your business as smoothly as you can, because you are the only person who's the face of the business. You're the only one who can do what you can do. There are other people who can do it. And now you might tell me, I don't have the money to spend for that. This is where you go back to the first thing, pre-sell your product, because once you pre-sell your product, now you have revenue coming in. Now you can use that revenue to help get invest back into your business. Think about hiring help as an investment, not as a drain. Now, of course, you have to get very clear on what kind of hire do you need? Most solopreneurs, if you're a business owner, if you're a virtual business owner, you need at least one virtual assistant. And now at this time and age, you can find virtual assistants all over the world, um, in, especially in developing countries. And they are really good, hardworking um, people that you can hire for a lesser amount, especially if you're in the US or one of the developed countries, you can hire them who are now going to assist you. The hiring process is a whole different thing. I'm not going to cover that here, but this is going to help you in really helping your, your machine be well oiled and work really well. Because if you don't, again, 
Time equals money. If you're spending time on doing things that could probably take someone a fraction of the time to do, now who is, now what is that going to cost you? So for example, technology is not my best, best suit. So with that, if I'm spending, it sometimes takes me like, like two hours to do something, which someone else can probably do it in 10 minutes. Okay, to figure something out. So would you rather spend two hours of your precious time, which means precious money, or you are going to hire out or have get some help for that? Okay, this is really important because your dollars per hour is going to be much higher than 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 whatever help you need behind the scenes. This is why you're getting paid the big bucks. So are you going to step into that CEO role right now? Or are you going to wait and, and not get that help that you need? So these two mistakes are vital. One, waiting for a finished product before you sell it. Two, Time equals money. Are you spending time doing things that are not important that someone else can do? Okay, so very, very important. Start to look at what does your business need? Where can you hire help? Where can you start to first market your product or service before you can actually sell it real time, right? Because th these things are going to help you bring more revenue in and therefore help you make more sales, and therefore help you get your business up and running in the best way possible, which means now you're serving people at their, in their highest, for their highest evolutionary process. Now, this is very, very key. Now, if you like this video, go back and watch the video on, are you struggling to make money from your business? And this is why, because that is going to be an adjunct to this video. That's going to help you again, help your business flourish. And um, I'm also now going to do a video on how do you make more sales, especially as a spiritual business owner. So please watch that as well, because one of the most important things is I know that if you're in my channel watching this, you have a spiritual mindset and that I want to use that in order for you to help grow your business to the next level.